banking on it too hard, Eddie. Oh, you're such a crybaby. Oh, it's bending too far. Pull it out this way. Boy, I'm whacked. Just one more load of wood to pull up here. And we'll have the best treehouse in Batminster. No girls allowed either. Just me and you and you and me. And if I'm not here, you can play with yourself. We did it all with our own hands. That's all boys need. Right, oh, Eddie. A girl would just get sweaty and <laughs> smell bad. Watch your Serena. Seen Andy and Eddie anywhere? Bang on it, Eddie. Hold on. They asked me if I wanted to do it with them. But I told them rape gives me a scabby rash. Andy and Eddie give perversion a bad name. In Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, Dr John Gray distinguishes between the cave mentality of the male and the ocean mentality of the female. You've got to pull it together. <sighs> oh, I feel dizzy. Boys disgust me. Unless inferior Martians learn to understand our superior Venusian ways, the human race is doomed. If that's science, I'm a Chinaman. Men on Mars? Then what, hmm? They fly a quadrillion miles over to Venus, pick up the women and fly another quadrillion miles to Earth. <laughs> yeah, right. Typical Martian, you're just not listening to me. Blah, 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 blah. We don't actually come from Venus, you cretin. Aha, you're contradicting yourself. Yes, I'm not. I think we need Doraemon. And anyway, it's liquid ammonia on Venus, so please tell Serena how thick she is, OK? Just because I know the difference between male and female. Mm. Hmm, I know this gender flip jumper cable should sort this out. <laughs> How can a life form with only two sexes to worry about be so completely clueless? Here, young man, you grab my red knob. Young lady, you keep hold of my blue knob. <laughs> Feeling any different? Ah! Look at my ugly knees! Oh, gross! This is how I look in a skirt. Better than you do in these hot pants. Hmm. Well, as long as you can change us back. Trust me, you're to Raymond's little girl. What if something goes wrong and you can't change us back? <laughs> oh, la la! Why am I walking like this? Oh, white pants. Wait a minute, something's missing. What's the point of that? No, oh, well, I hear what you're saying, but the tree of life it grows strange fruit. It does? Hmm? I'm saying I'll be the strangest fruit of all time. Ah, you don't trust me. If you chicken out, I won't turn you back into a girl. Oh. <laughs> The tree of life grows strange fruit. I'll be the strangest fruit of all. Right then. I'm a girl trapped in a boy's body. Golly, did I say that out loud? Yes, you did. What an opportunity! I can live like a boy. And I didn't have to go to Morocco for any icky operation. I won't wash. I won't flush the loo. I'll fart into jars. I can be a boy. I'm not a girl, I'm a boy! I'm not a girl anymore, I'm a boy! I'm on top of the world, Ma! Oh, I believe in miracles. Where are you from, you sexy thing? Uh-oh. Oh, Serena, hello. Now, don't run away. We have to talk. Oh, blow me. It's my sex education teacher. Talk away, sir. Your work with the fruit flies is a most stimulating project. <gasps> For me too, Mr Morton. I'm getting in touch with my feminine side. Hello, sailor. Kiss me quick. Uh, squeeze me slow. Hubba hubba. Oh, I had woman hear me roar. And numbers too big to ignore. La 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 Oh, hey, Harry! Slow down, you look hot! So, my new skirt shows off me girlish bottom. Um, our fruit flies hatched last night. With that little top, I don't think. Percy Thrower, he's a goer, shaves his pubes with a red lawn mower. Hey, you! I'll show you how to skip rope. 
Ow! Down again! Get it again! again. Get I'll show you how to skip rope! Ow! She talked about going professional. Ah, the Marty are fallen. <laughs> hey, Nobby! We're one man short! I'm not a short man! Well, I suppose I am! I'd love to play with you! Um, are you going to wear on the wrong hand for the whole game? Smells <laughs> <laughs> oh, like Daddy's underpants <laughs> Do I throw it back now? I was so wrong. He's a freak of nature. Freak of nature! nature. Oh, oh, I'm sorry I called you a fruit that time. I'm just a girl. Oops. You must have stretched an organ down there. I'll get my doctor kit. And we can take him to the treehouse. Radical feminist power provokes violence in men because we threaten the male definitely gendigula norms, isn't it? Yeah. What do we get from men that we can't get from a turkey baster in a clown suit? I'll tell you what. If it weren't for boys, you'd put dog sick in Mr Morton's soup flask. Right on, Serena. Go, sister. Hit it, man. There's boys, you know, go up and down. Just need their hands to make their sound. Then they kick in the door and then they smash up your world. Then run away quick. Blame it on some girl. I'd rather be a boy, wouldn't you? What did I say? <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Kent. I'm your mother, remember? Oh, Mummy, of course. Am I a silly billy or what? Tidy your blarnix, madam. <laughs> so little to do in so much time. Oh, well, if De Raymond wants me to act like a girl, I suppose I'll get a few ideas in her bedroom. I declare this boudoir open. I can't read this. It's in Japanese. No pictures. Aha! The big girl's book of knitting. Fan bloody tastic. You're to Raymond's little girl. <sighs> I'm to Raymond's little girl. Teach me, to Raymond. Busy, darling. Who's this Dr. Raymond when he's at home? Oh, he's uh, my special friend. He teaches me things. About your Y chromosome, perhaps? He made it sound like fun. But when you're a girl, you're always on the bottom. <gasps> Sissy, you're growing up so fast. Look, I know. Let's have a wee chat out about the changes of your body. No problem, Mrs. Kent. Dr. Raymond can fill me in. You sit like that, and men look straight up your skirt. Ew, you okay? I'm taking you to Dr. Coldhands, miss, and then we're going to buy you a nice pink training bra. Dr. Coldhands isn't going to get a look under this boy's skirt. Nobby's not home, dear. Oh, yes, he is. I blame the parents. You have to help me. Later. Are these really readers' wives? I'll die if I have to wear a bra. <laughs> I hear you. The trick with bra shopping is to find your cup size in a cut that doesn't pinch under the arms. A pink bra? Do I look like a girl to you? I will survive. La 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 I've got to stop her. I've been having a lovely time. Can we? Your mum wants to buy me a bra. Keep your shirt on. That's not my problem. It's just our first day. Let's talk in a month. I could be shaving my legs in a month. Panic not, dear Norbert. My theory is she hasn't grasped the slippery issue of boyhood anxiety. What slippery tissues? 
That's exactly what I'm going to find out. <laughs> a quick poke around your bedroom ought to be There's enough. nothing under the bed. Oh, the humiliation. Maybe I can impregnate myself for science class. Uh, Serena, I, I, uh, I think you need a long, cold shower. May I have a shower, please, lovely Mumsy? You're starting to frighten me. Pink, pink, pink. An alien from Pluto turned me into a girl. Hmm, I wonder. I could get on Jerry Springer. <laughs> oh, what the heck? That! If I can see that, then he can see my... Don't look! Blimey, they're my cupcakes. They're my cupcakes and I want them back. No more sex change pranks for me, eh, Draymond? I'm glad you got in touch with your feminine side, but you may feel a little stiffness as a side effect. So, no chance of playing pocket billiards now me hands are stuck up here. And no hide the loofah. Hmm. Uh, 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 one more pull. Oh, let me have a go. Get off. You made a right mess of it. Well, I'm finished then. 